No game out there is entirely perfect, and today GameRanks is bringing you 10 things that players hate about Fallout 4. Number 10, Trash Can Carla. Oh, Trash Can Carla, your name is appropriate. This junk collecting hoarding merchant can sell you oil from your settlement in Sanctuary Hills, which is important. Yeah, oil is important for building stuff. She's also a freaking liar. Trash Can Carla is an informant for the Institute. You can rob Carla too, which then she won't sell her ever important oil to you. But if your settlement's attacked, she'll say like, this isn't my fight. Well, Trash Can Carla, it is your fight. And if she gets attacked, she'll defend herself. Every once in a while, she'll even get into power armor and screw you over, because you can't make her get out of it. Number nine, the wasted potential of the robot racetrack. Now, when you say robot racetrack, it sounds like, oh, there's an interesting place. I wonder what's going on there. There could be a side quest, maybe. Something in-depth that develops the relationship between synthetics and humans in the world of Fallout. Something that further tells us what people think about synthetic humans in the Institute, and using it as an allegory for perhaps animal abuse or even slavery. Something deep could have been done with the robot racetrack, but instead it's kind of just a shooting gallery. I mean, it's a cool looking place. I do like going there, but it could have been something more. In fact, it may have been something more. In fact, it may have even been intended to be something more. Number eight, you can't be evil. You just can't do it. I mean, I'm not saying you can't do bad things in the game. You can do bad things in the game and you can align yourself with bad people, but they go out of their way to make sure you know that people are people and everybody has motivations for everything that they do, it's awful. It's not really awful. I actually think that that's good, but I also would think it would be good if you could do something that was just very clearly ideologically bad, because sometimes that's fun to do. Like, just because we make sure that our characters are three-dimensional and that we understand their motives and all that doesn't mean we don't want to have a little bit of chaos in our lives. Like, for instance, at the start, you can't choose to align with the raiders or anything. You have to help the besieged Minutemen. Seriously, it would be nice to be not nice. Number seven, Preston Garvey. Now, I'm not saying he's automatically the worst or anything because by all accounts, he actually comes off pretty cool. But I'll say this, his backstory, not particularly rich. He's a Minuteman, okay. That's like all, that's it. That's all he cares about. That's all he ever has cared about. He talks so much about the Minutemen. It's just like, dude, do you like anything else? And then here's the weirdest thing. He makes you the leader of the Minutemen, but he keeps giving you all these quests that you don't even like say, yeah, I'll do that when you give two at all. And you know what? When you first meet him for a while, he just freaking leaves. He just heads off. He's like, all right, well, I can, I can see you understand the world now. I'll see you later. And you're like, Preston, I understand the Minutemen is important to you, but this man has been here for only a minute. Shouldn't I be important to you too, sir? Number six, you know what? Kind of just the Minutemen in general. You know, you can set up an impenetrable fortress that can take down just about anything. Like you can set up an impossible number of turrets and ensure sure that nothing could get through and they'd still be like, oh man, oh dude, you're the general, can you show up and help us with these slightly annoying raiders? It's like, why'd you let them get near? And I understand that that's game design, it's not necessarily the Minutemen's personal choice, but if we are going to suspend our disbelief, that's kind of what we have to attribute it to. And like I said, Preston Garvey is kind of an annoying fellow, but he makes it so obvious why the previous incarnation of the Minutemen failed, because whoever wasn't in charge had to deal with everything. It'd be so much better if you could set some kind of precedent of delegation, spread out the responsibilities just a little bit. Number five, that they replaced the power armor that was originally labeled as the pinnacle of power armor in pre-war times, the T-51B, with the T-60. I mean, technically the T-60 is the better one. So how was the T-51 the pinnacle? In order to do this, they had to rewrite history a little bit, at least in the Fallout world. Number four, would it kill the settlers to do a little bit of maintenance. Seriously, you build a settlement for them, they show up, and then they basically just stand around. And they don't build stuff on their own. No, they just show up and live rent-free in your settlement. It's like, couldn't you build anything, like a shed or something? Or just clean things? Or even just pick a bed that isn't the player's bed and sleep in it on your own? Number three, Marcy Long. Marcy Long is, let's just say, unpleasant. You meet up with her because she's rolling with Preston Garvey's crew, and she has all of these wonderful quotes like, what makes you think we're friends? It's like, uh, you 
living in my settlement or no? And obviously, just like all the other settlers, she's not doing any work or contributing in any even minor way. She's just taking up space in the settlement that you build and maintain yourself and protect with very little help from all the other folks. I mean, she's been through a lot. She has an excuse to be bitter and mean, but I mean, she's like an outright dick to you, basically, no matter what you do for her. So, I don't know, it's, it's kind of annoying and shitty. Number two, you don't have mannequins to display clothes in Fallout 4, and you could do that in Skyrim. Now, granted, they were weird, and there's numerous videos all over YouTube of people finding them in different places than they were originally, and if you taunted them, they were terrifying, but it'd be really nice to be able to display all of the clothes that you've collected throughout Fallout in some way, being you can display other items like magazines that you've collected, figurines, all those types of things. You can display them where you want them, but not clothes. And number one, if you're using chameleon armor, the pit boy just doesn't work. You can look at it, but oftentimes you have no idea what's on the screen because it's all screwed up. The map especially, it's just a mess. And there's some theories that it has something to do with wearing armor that makes you invisible, but there are other theories that are Bethesda didn't really quite think about it when they programmed something that makes you invisible and kind of makes your pit boy invisible, but you still look at your pit boy. I don't know, it's kind of, it, like I said, it's a mess. The fact that a lot of people think that it is a bug means that if it's intentional, they didn't do a great job with it. What things drive you nuts about Fallout? I'll meet you down in the comments. Let's have a discussion about that. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week. The best way to see them first is a subscription. As always, we thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time right here on Game Ranks.